to be like this eye look. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like I'm blissfully unaware of what it actually looks like, so we'll see when I edit this footage, if it's any good. Hey everybody, it's Amanda, and today I'm coming at you with my November favorites. I feel like every YouTuber says this every month, but I can't believe this month is already over. It has been so much fun. I've done so much. I have been using so many things that I've been loving that have made my life easier, better, etc. So I'm here to share those all with you today. The only difference is I normally include some media favorites, and I will include some, but I'm not including music in this favorites video, even though I've had a ton of music favorites. I'm going to separate those out from now on, I think. Start a little series uh, on Monday it's called Music Monday. So if you want to hear about my music favorites, just wait until Monday and there'll be another video about those. But yeah, I digress. Let's just get into the stuff because there have been so many things that I've been loving and I cannot wait to share them all with you guys. I am going to start with makeup and honestly I don't have that many makeup favorites just because I haven't been wearing a ton of makeup and when I do it has been my classic winged eyeliner and a nude lipstick and I've been doing the same eyeshadow color over and over again but I know I kind of switched it up today we did something fun it's okay <laughs> but normally I stick to something pretty simple I know it works for me so this liquid lipstick by Kat Von D it is her one of her new nudes it's Ludwig I love this color I think it's so beautiful it is my perfect nude it's got a little bit more of a brown tone I'm not a huge fan of pink nudes on my skin tone but this brown toned this brown toned nude is perfect for me it's perfect for my everyday I just feel like I can slap this on with like eyeliner and mascara maybe a little bit of concealer and everybody thinks I'm so put together but really it's just it's just this lipstick and my other favorite is it also a Kat Von D favorite and it is their Lolita blush and eyeshadow it's just like a pigment and it's in their classic Lolita color which is beautiful and honestly I don't like the Lolita lipstick that much I don't think it looks that good on me it's very pink but I love this blush and using this as an eyeshadow I think is gorgeous I'm a huge fan and I'm really glad I picked this up from Kat Von D. My next favorites are a few fashion favorites. My first fashion favorite for this month are these lovely, beautiful vegan Doc Martens. Uh, yes, these are their classic, what are they, 1460s. These are the vegan ones. Um, you can tell the difference between the vegan and the non-vegan because the vegans have an all yellow tag and the normal Doc Martens tab is like black with yellow writing so yeah that's a good way to tell the difference and I broke these in I made the mistake of breaking these in I got them in the mail on a Thursday went to Chicago Friday Saturday Sunday these were the only pair of shoes I brought with me I'm pretty sure I gave myself tendonitis for a couple weeks had to wear a brace <laughs> when I got back but they are broken in now and I absolutely adore them I love that they're vegan the classic dark Martins look is the way to go I had a pair of these back in high school like middle school high school trashed them ruined them finally got a new pair so here we are hopefully I'll have these for another seven years like I did the other ones and then my second fashion favorite is a t-shirt it is from Zara out of the men's section I was in Chicago and I was out with friends and we just happened to walk into Zara wanted to see what they had and I found this t-shirt it's just a black t-shirt this is a men's medium and every single one of those little gold things they're on the sleeves they're on the back it's like around the whole shirt they are all little skulls um, and I'll insert a close-up so you guys can see those but I thought that that was just so kind of cheeky and fun and cute and not it's like a super overwhelming it's not like a giant skull but it's kind of like a little, a little subtle edge like oh I see you in your little punk you know punk t-shirt there <laughs> so yes this was a great find it was the last one on the shelf in a medium and my friend Matt was like if you don't buy that I'm buying it so I bought it <laughs> My next favorite is not necessarily a thing, but kind of something that's permanently on my body now. And it is this tattoo. I did get this while I was in Chicago. It is very spontaneous. This is my first, like, real tattoo. 
and I will link the artist and the shop down below. It was a wonderful tattoo experience. I cannot say anything better about it. I emailed the guy the night before I wanted it. I asked him if he had availability to sketch it up, blah, blah, blah. See me, get me in sometime that weekend. And he literally got me in Friday afternoon. I got this and then went to a Bad Sons concert. So, yep. That was an eventful weekend, but I got that towards the end of October, so this has been my November favorite because now that it's healed, I just I love looking at it. I feel more myself than I ever had, and I'm already planning on going to get another tattoo or five or six or ten because, again, I just feel so myself, and now that I've gotten one, I'm like, oh, I have all these ideas. Let's go get them all. <laughs> And another favorite of mine this month has been my Polaroid camera. This is its little carrying case. So cute. Yeah. I went and bought this because I saw Amazon running a sale on them. You could get this in the case and like six packs of 10 film for like $100, which I found out to be a great deal. And... I just went ahead and took the plunge and bought it and I have taken so many pictures with this thing. I've been bringing it everywhere. I absolutely adore it. It is just such a cool way to capture memories and I want to figure out a way to hang up all of the pictures on my wall without it being like cheesy or like too overly Pinteresty. and I don't want to ruin any of the photos either. Like I want to be able to keep those and have them for a while. So if you have any ideas, I don't like the idea of clipping them and tape ruins them over time. So if you have any ideas that don't include tape or like the little clips, let me know because I'm very open to anything you may have. And then I have three kind of TV related things and one podcast. The first one was the second season of Stranger Things. I finished it in two days. It was phenomenal. Love. The character development in this season has been so much better. I cannot wait to see where they go with the show next. I'm just so overwhelmingly happy with that show. I cannot say enough good things about it. The second season definitely improved on the first. It was amazing. Ah, every, if you haven't watched it yet, which is ridiculous, go watch it. Like, just click out of this video. I don't even care if you finish it. Go watch Stranger Things. That's unacceptable. Just go watch it. <laughs> it's so good. And then my other two TV favorites were both documentaries. One of them was a YouTube favorite, and it's the Demi Lovato documentary. And the other one is a Netflix documentary, and it was the Lady Gaga documentary. Now, these are... I've not listened to Lady Gaga since, like, her Born This Way album, but her... The way she talked about her music and her life and her documentary kind of made me go listen to her newest album. And, like, she's got a whole new style going there, something that I really love. So I'm glad that that documentary opened me back up to Lady Gaga because I really do love her Born This Way album. Some great songs off of there I still listen to all the time. And then Demi Lovato really, like stepped out of her box. She was so vulnerable and open in her documentary. Again, it made me go listen to her new album. And her new album is like, it's sassy. It's It's got a little spice to it. Like, it's so much fun to listen to. And she's awesome. I've been following her on all her social media now. And I just have fallen in love with her all over again. I haven't really listened to her since like the Camp Rock era. But, <laughs> wow. Wow. But yeah, I'm so stoked on both of those artists and like, I guess their music through their documentaries. So I guess those are kind of music favorites and I cheated, but still be on the lookout for Music Monday. And then my podcast favorite is Harry Potter and the Sacred Text. This is a really unique podcast, I feel like. And as someone who loves Harry Potter and rereads the Harry Potter series every winter, so I'm getting really close to where the time where I like reread all of the books in like a week and don't talk to anybody. But it reads Harry Potter like it was a Bible or like a, another kind of sacred text that like looks into the themes and the meanings and you know what life lessons can we take from these wonderful novels that for a lot of us shaped our childhoods. It's such an interesting podcast and if you like Harry Potter, I would highly recommend going to check out Harry Potter and the Sacred Text because it's such a great way to live the books again. And then I do actually have a book favorite this month. I've been trying, trying is the key word here, to read a little bit more. And I picked up Flux by Orion Carlotto. She is a wonderful poet and a wonderful person. And I love her YouTube channel. I have been following her since the heydays of Tumblr when her posts 
used to get like 20 notes on there so just to see her making like an actual poetry book and get it published and to see like the following she's gotten has been so cool and like I think her style is very unique I like the way she writes I like how vulnerable she is so I'm not always the biggest fan of poetry but when it's well done I really appreciate it and this book was well done flux is beautiful so congratulations Orion because I have loved this this month I've gone back to read it like four times I've loaned it out to friends it has seen some love already <laughs> and that is it for my November favorites I feel like I got through this as fast as I could so hopefully this video isn't too long and if you want to keep up with everything that I'm doing between videos you can go ahead and follow me all of my links are down below I am hype for this holiday season to be in full swing. While I'm sad that November is over, I'm so excited that it is December, the best month of the year, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!